Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Hot off the press, we have news about the official FC25 ratings. They have been leaked, and I say official in quotes because there are some things that could change very small things though. That's why we're taking a look at a lot of these ratings and saying these are going to be basically the confirmed ratings for FC25 when the game comes out now in less than a month. These are all but confirmed by EA Sports because the people that are getting these ratings are getting them from the back end somehow in the code. They're getting the stats. Now we'll talk about that today and why these aren't 100% confirmed, but we'll call it like 90% confirmed based off of the leaks that we have. Now we're not looking at just like a top 50 list of players today. We're taking a look at this top 50 and then a whole bunch more. We're looking at Ronaldo, Teo Hernandez, Arda Guler, Cole Palmer, Suarez is back in the game. So many different players we're going to look at leaked stats for today because FC25 is just around the corner and it's about to get good. There's a lot of surprises and a lot of ratings that we may not agree with, but that's all part of the fun. So if you're excited for the ratings today, drop a thumbs up and of course subscribe if you have not and if you are new. Now, just like every year with ratings, guys, as we take a look at a lot of these, they never seem 100% fair. Like, let's be honest. There's always something we see with the ratings for certain players that absolutely makes no sense. Now, we know that EA like to leave room for special cards later on down the line. We're going to take a look at a couple cards today that got an upgrade overall wise, but their stats on their card didn't move much. And that's just a pure sign that EA is going to give them promo cards throughout the year. And that's something that they've done now the past couple of years that we've caught on to as well. Gone are the days where you have 93 Messi and 94 rated Ronaldo and Messi as like starter cards for golds. 91 is the highest that they want to go right now so they can give promo cards during the year. But with all that being said, Let's take a look at the leaks of the top 50 of these ratings. Firstly, with this bottom row, we've got some nice ones in here. Upgrade for Paulo Dybala. But you might notice the first thing, different play style pluses. That's one thing. Dybala had finesse plus before, I believe. He's now got first touch plus. There's some better um, play style plus improvements on some of these cards with the new ratings for FC25, and some of them got worse. Dybala with a plus one, but that first touch plus is not as good as finesse for sure. Marquinhos gets intercept plus, minus one for him, and Emi Martinez, big upgrade. He's going to be a really usable keeper in the Prem. Of course, deserved upgrade for sure. Hyunmin Son, 87 rated, staying the same, but he actually did get a passing, I believe, and a physical boost, and that Finesse Plus is going to be insane for his card again. And then next to Son is 87 rated Neymar. Wow. Neymar getting cooked. Minus, what was it? I think minus four or five shooting from his card in FC24. He's still five-star, five-star though, so that's nice. But father time and injuries taking its toll on Neymar's car. He'll still be usable for sure, uh, but it's just kind of unfortunate for him in a FIFA rating sense. Now to the top row, we've got some fodder. We've got Gundogan. We've got Jan Sommer with a nice upgrade, and we've got 88 rated Florian Verts. This is a card that I want to zone in on for a second. Big upgrade for him. Musiala got a big upgrade last year in FC24. Verts is getting a big upgrade after the year Leverkusen had and the role that he played in it. From 74 pace and 85 rated, Bro is going to 88 rated with 81 pace. So a big pace boost there. And also he's getting a playstyle plus of incisive pass plus. That's going to be one of the better center attack and mids off the start of the game. And Bundesliga probably going to be a little cheaper as well. So you love that. Rounding out this first list here, we've got Katoto and and Endler, which are basically fodder per usual. But moving on to the top 40, we have Beth Mead. Now there's one card, there's one point I want to make here with this Beth Mead card is the physical stat on a lot of the women's players seems to be getting boosted across the board. Even for some of the women's players that got downgraded, like minus one, if you take a look at some of their stats, I haven't compared them all, but I've noticed that on multiple of them, they're getting plus ones and plus two in that physical stat. I wonder if that's because EA, uh, you know, figured out that a lot of the women's players just were not very meta, especially because of the height uh, differences between the men, but because of the physical play as well in game. Maybe it's a strength boost. Maybe it's stamina. We'll have to see. But that's one common theme I started to recognize after comparing a lot of these ratings from FC 24 to 25. So Beth Mead getting a plus one. Ruben Diaz a minus one. They also changed his play style plus. They gave him bruiser plus. Um, looks more like fodder than ever. Valverde is looking cracked as ever, though. Last year, he got a big boost. He maintains that 88 rated for FC25. That's going to be a really expensive midfielder, especially with Mbappe and Vinny and all the Madrid links that you have now in FC25. And I got to talk about this Phil Foden, guys. 
This Phil Foden is going to be so meta this year. 100% meta. Unique body type. He's got technical plus and 90 dribbling. Phil Foden's, if you used any of his other special cards in FC24 at the end of the year, like maybe even earlier on, this card was so popular. Any of his informs, the foot birthday was pretty crazy. His tots card was nuts. Um, this card was really, really meta later on this year. And with the overall boost that he got, which is deserved, by the way, 100%, 86 pace, 86 shooting, 85 passing. It's the most usable Phil Foden gold, gold card ever. Last year, it just felt like he wasn't that great. He was only 12,000 coins. Started the game, like, people didn't use him except for the first week. This card's going to be, in my opinion, 150 to 200k just because it's 88 rated, harder to pack, big name. Foden was Premier League Player of the Year, right? Really great season for Manchester City. That card's going to be really meta in FC25, so watch out for that one. He's going to be expensive. There's Patrick Guijaro. Again, usable for the early game. You've got Cole Bell with a big upgrade here on the top row. Diani looking solid here. Guru Riten looking solid just like last year. Actually, Diani, I think, got a minus one. She was an 89, now an 88. Wendy Renard gets cooked with 48 pace. That's very unfortunate after some of her late game versions in FC24, like the team of the season and the footies were really good. And Irene Paredes rounds out this row here. Now, to the top 30, we've got some 88s again with Dabinia, Bernardo Silva, Ederson, Rudiger, and Oblak. Now, I want to look at this Ederson card straight away because there's another leak that shows Ederson with a playstyle plus of long ball plus, and that is possible. This could be correct. He might actually have long ball pass plus. It's not known. These are the two kind of top 50s, which really only have a couple of differences for the 87 rated players because there's a lot of different 87s, and that's completely understandable, but that's going to be really interesting to see. As you will see as we look through some of the other player ratings here, goalkeepers can have playstyle pluses. That's a new addition to FC 25. They've already confirmed that in the pitch notes and the trailers and all this stuff. So it wouldn't surprise me if Ederson actually does have long ball pass plus and it's just not shown in this graphic. So he's still an 88. This 88 rated Bernardo Silva though, I want to draw your attention to 75 pace. Speaking of Phil Foden, Bernardo Silva is going to be more usable this FIFA as well. 69 pace in FC 24 going up to 75. That's a big boost there with 92 dribbling and technical plus. That's going to be a great card. Probably going to be more expensive this year as well for him being the most usable Bernardo Silva gold card maybe ever. Moving over, we have Rudiger, who's kind of on the opposite trend of an upgrade. He's going from an 85 rated to an 88 rated. I actually packed the 85 Rudiger last year and played a bunch of games with him. With Aerial Plus, he was so good. He goes from Aerial Plus to Bruiser Plus. He doesn't get any physical or pace upgrade, although he goes from an 85 to an 88. That's some of the rating stuff here that really just confuses us, guys. Like, how is Rudiger going plus three and not getting any boost at all to pace or physical? The same as his 85 rated card. I guess it leaves room for special cards, right? That's the way they're going to go about it and say it. But that's the Rudiger boost there. Oblak still an 88. Griezmann on the top row here looks amazing still as an 88 rated card. I was wondering if they downgrade Griezmann, to be honest, like even to an 87 or an 86, but he's staying as an 88. He still has the 80 pace and the finesse plus. Last year in the early game, he was so overpowered. Probably going to happen again this year too. Lewandowski though, big downgrade for him. Chip shot plus, no longer a 90. And Lionel Messi getting a downgrade as well to an 88 rated card. Not really a surprise, to be honest, because you guys know how it works in terms of EA. Father time always means your ratings are going to be going down, right? That's Suarez we took a quick peek at. Yeah, his rating has gone down a lot too. Messi's still definitely usable. I'm really curious as well because last year, Messi had low, low work rates. But of course, work rates are gone from the game. So does that mean a player like Messi who was kind of hindered by his work rates last year is going to be more usable this year. Let's hope that he is. That still is going to be a usable card because it's messy. Sophia Smith getting a plus one from an 88 to an 89. First touch plus for her. Still looking really cracked. That's going to be a meta card and Mopi Leon rounds out this list. Let's move into the top 20 where it gets good and where you start to see some more interesting playstyle plus changes. That's really in the top 10 cards, but let's start here. Now, Lautaro Martinez getting an upgrade as well. That's going to be a really good, not even a starter striker because he He's not going to be that cheap, but 88 shooting with finesse plus 87 dribbling. I think he's got a five star weak foot as well on his base gold from last year, which will probably carry over to this year. That's going to be a great card. Don Rumo with an 89 still. That's there for fodder and for PSG links. Hegerberg, again, fodder, nothing changed there. Odegaard going up to an 89, but the pace, again, if we look up Odegaard's card, 
uh, really quickly from FC24. Martin Odegaard goes from an 87 to an 89, but he gets minus two pace. And that's where I feel like maybe some of these ratings could be somewhat incorrect as well. That doesn't seem right. Like Odegaard, he went a plus two. He shouldn't go down two in pace. I mean, sure, maybe it's realistic, maybe it's not, but... I don't know. That's the sort of thing that confuses me a little bit with his Odegaard card, but he does get an upgrade. Allison stays in 89. Mohamed Salah stays in 89 as well. This has him as 87 shooting. Last year, he had 86. His card's probably going to remain unchanged for the most part. Finesse plus. We love it. Virgil van Dijk, literally no change for him, I believe. Maybe like plus one dribbling, but I think the card versus FC24 is almost the exact same. Ter Stegen and Courtois, I think, are joint highest rated goalkeepers. Both look pretty crazy. And let me look at this other prediction. Did they have playstyle pluses uh well, let me see no i don't think it was in this one that they had a playstyle plus for them but be on the lookout again for playstyle pluses on some of these keepers because they are going to be showing up there is a goalkeeper in the top 10 that has a playstyle plus now in 11th here we have jude bellingham he's top 10 but he's 90 rated and he got one of the biggest boosts of the year huge shooting boost for jude bellingham yeah you see that right that is 80 seven shooting it had to happen though he's the cover star he's the cover boy of the game there was no way he wasn't going to get an upgrade especially after how he played last year it's deserved it's deserved for sure he didn't get really any boost to dribbling defense and physical but the pace and the shooting obviously going up to 87 shooting plus 12 a massive massive boost there for him and again only a small boost in the defense and the physical categories he did get a plus three in the dribbling so deserved upgrade for jude I mean, does that look like a 90 rated card to you, though? He's got 87 shooting and 88 dribbling. That's the one thing that bugs me with some of the overall ratings still is when a card has like a really high overall rating and then none of their individual stats like stack up even close to that overall rating. So that's the one thing that bugs me about Jude. He's going to be cracked, though, and he's got Relentless Plus, which is um, the same as last year for his card. We could have done with a little bit of a different one, but... That might be a decent playstyle plus for him in the early game. Not many people have it. Now let's go to the top 10 and diagnose these. 90 rated with a plus one is Vinny Jr. Of course, in the Ballon d'Or conversation, what a year Madrid had. This card's going to be really expensive again with the Mbappe links, with all the Madrid links and the hype there. He's going to be crazy expensive this year, even more than last year. Small upgrade for him. Looking cracked as ever. Puteas with a small minus one. First touch plus for her. Not much change there. Sam Kerr. Here's a playstyle plus change that we love, though. She had power header plus last year. She's got finesse plus this year. Let me double check this, but pretty sure she had power header plus in her base. She did. 4-4 four, four with power header. So she's still a 90 rated, and it looks like her stats barely changed at all. De Bruyne. This one, okay, the De Bruyne card there's issues with because both of the guys that tweeted De Bruyne, the stats look very incorrect. One guy has him at 81 pace. The other guy has him at 69. One of those is very wrong, and it's probably the 69 pace, but De Bruyne's really not 81 pace type card either. So I think there's a bit of an issue here with this KDB card. I think the incisive pass plus and the 90 overall is correct, but I wouldn't think that he's got 81 pace. I don't know. That seems a little too good to be true. But we'll have to see. Moving on. This is my favorite out of all this, being a Spurs fan. Harry Kane. I know he's at Bayern and he's not a Spurs anymore. But I love this guy. And I'm going to be excited to use Harry Kane because he finally has a shooting play style plus on his card. They gave him incisive pass plus, which made sense last year, to be honest. He did have a great year of passing as well. He does have great passing. But Finesse Plus, mm. could it be Power Shot Plus? Yes, but this is going to be the best early game version of Harry Kane, sub-70 pace that we've ever seen. I'm excited for that one. Now to the top row, the best of the team here. We have Hansen at 90. Rated She's going to be cracked. Trickster Plus, wait for that first special card to get Finesse Plus, and she'll be all over the place like last year. Bonmati, Holland, Rodri, and Mbappe line out the 91 rated, joint highest rated cards in FC25, Bonmati with Technical Plus, still looking cracked like last year. Holland with Acrobatic Plus. Actually, Holland got minus one shooting and pace, I believe, off his card last year. Rodri going from an 89 to a 91. Big boost for him. You could definitely say deserved. Um, doesn't look that usable, but he's going to be probably usable in the early game as long as pace isn't too big of an issue. Tiki Taka Plus. Maybe it's going to be OP this year. I don't know. You haven't seen very many Tiki Taka Plus cards here. So maybe it's going to be OP. And then rounding out number one, you have, of course, Kylian Mbappe, which we've talked about on, on other the social channels. If you've seen any of the TikToks or the shorts that we've posted, it's literally the exact same card that Mbappe had last year. The in-game stats are exact the same as FC24 down to every single 
category. So nothing has changed for Mbappe except he's now a Madrid player and his price is going to be more because of it. Now, let's get into the interesting stuff, guys. These players, right? We're looking at some of the individual players that don't make the top 50, but they're big names that we're curious about. Cristiano Ronaldo gets an upgrade for FC 25. He gets plus two passing and three physical after EA really cooked him last year with a ratings downgrade. And of course, a way better picture this year. No more lipstick looking Ronaldo like we had last year. And there were so many memes about. Now, this one right here, we need to talk about. Cole Palmer. Cole Palmer had his own celebration added to the game last year. EA gave him a plus 19 upgrade, but they give him plus one pace. This is, again, disgraceful with some of these upgrades. Like, how are you going to give somebody plus 19 from a silver card, a silver card to this, to an 85 rated, but he gets plus one pace? That's got to be a mistake. I'm hoping that's a mistake and that he has, like, 82 pace as well because it doesn't make any sense. Like, if you give this card even 79 or 80 pace, which is deserved, he's not that slow. Like, that's a really, really insane card. At this rate, he's good for the first couple of weeks, and then he's just going to turn into a fodder card until they give him some specials, you know? No playstyle plus, it looks like, for him as well. So that one's a bit of a head-scratcher for me. Like, honestly, though, very deserved upgrade from a 66-rated silver to an 85-rated gold rare Cole Palmer. Deserved, for sure. His own celebration in the game and everything. What a great year for him. That's a big upgrade, but the pace is very confusing. Ferlin Mendy. Is this the highest rated Ferlin Mendy that we've had in a while? Like, he's always 82 or 83. This year, 84. He's going to be more, like, rare than ever and unpackable because of how high uh, his rating is, you know, plus one or two. But still, 84 rated for Mendy. Now, if you need a competition at that French left back spot, it's going to be a little more set apart this year. Ferlin Mendy and Teo Hernandez are always right there. Teo Hernandez is separating. He's putting a gap between him and Ferlin Mendy. 89 physical on Teo. Big boost there. This card is clearly off the start of the game. Non-icon or hero. The best left back in the game, 100%. I mean, Bruiser Plus, it is what it is. Um, but that Teo card looks crazy, to be honest. The only bad thing is the... Uh, the design for the crest for AC Milan. EA don't have the rights for them or Inter, which is unfortunate. But that's a huge boost for Teo. He's going to be really expensive and really meta. There's one other card here that I do want to look at. Nico Williams. As we start to look at some of the youngsters that are getting boosted ratings. Nico Williams going from, and I had to look this up to be honest because I didn't remember his gold card from FC24. 79 rated Nico Williams up to an 85. He gets rapid plus. This card's going to be expensive purely because of the pace. He goes from 93 pace to 93 pace. Here we are again with another pace upgrade that didn't go anywhere, although he literally got plus six overall. Crazy, but he did get plus two shooting, plus six passing, three dribbling, and some physical boost as well. So that's a good upgrade for Nico Williams. It almost seems like um, maybe the Euros, especially because Nico Williams like showed out in the Euros, right, for Spain. The Euros seem to have a lot of weight on these ratings, and maybe less of the regular season last year had, had weight. And the Euros really, some of those players that were in the limelight, some of the hype for that, and how players performed. Lautaro Martinez got an upgrade as well for Argentina. Nico Williams here for Spain. Seems like that's kind of being elevated is really, really big time in terms of these ratings. Now, we have a couple more to go. Arda Guler, only a plus one for him. 77 rated last year, 78 rated this year. He could have been, I think, maybe an 80. I don't know. Yeah, sure, injuries have been an issue, but I think he could have been an 80 rated card. That seems like a bit of a small upgrade in my opinion. And then here we have some really fun ones here at the end. We got Luis Suarez. You know what? I don't even care about the base card stats here. Sure, you can use Suarez for the first week, or if you get lucky enough to pack Messi, this is how you can link Messi. He'll be cheap, right? But the best part about this, I can already see it, is flashback Luis Suarez later on during the year with 80... Black Friday. Black Friday promo. Give us a flashback Luis Suarez with 80 pace and like 85 shooting like you know the 87 shooting like higher passing you know that's we're there for that give us a four star five star luis suarez with those stats black friday flashback sbc i'm super there we already looked at uh neymar speaking of some of the young guns again i think about lamin yamal and i think about the euros 81 rated four star three star for i believe both yamal and endrick according to this tweet right here um and you know endrick as well 77 rated Honestly, guys, I know a lot of people think Yamal should be higher rated, like 80 or 81, and Endrick should be lower rated. But let's just take a step back and think about this for a second. These cards are very high rated for their first ever Ultimate Team version. Think about players that came onto the scene last year. Cole Palmer, he was 66 rated. Think about Colby Maynou, was a 60 what? Two rated bronze card? Those are their first cards. 
or some of their first cards in Ultimate Team, these guys are going straight to the gold rare category with 81 and 77. I think Laminia Mall's rating is deserved. I think Endrix is, may even though he just scored on his debut literally yesterday, I think it's a, maybe a smidge high. But of course, if EA is going to drop a Barca player at 81, and that's got all the hype, they got to drop the Madrid player at 77 too. So... Yeah, I think that Endrick's a little bit higher rated, but both of these for sure are going to be very popular for Evos. If you saw my tweet from the last couple of days, those are going to be cards that fluctuate when Evos drop all the time. There's going to be so many people wanting to upgrade them throughout the year. Now, this card right here looks insane. An 84, this, this is an 84 rated card, guys. Take a look at this. 84 rated Julian Alvarez with 85 pace. 84 shooting and 85 dribbling. He hits a plus two and, of course, the change to Atletico Madrid. That's an 84 rated card. Look at those stats, man. That's going to be a not cheap beast. He's not going to be cheap. He's still probably going to be up maybe 100,000 coins, to be honest, because of how good he was in um, FC24, especially with some of those early on special cards. And he's even his founder's Evo, which a ton of people did early on last year. This is not going to be a cheap card, but this is maybe like a... 75 to 125k striker that you would upgrade to after a couple weeks of playing the game and getting more coins that card looks really really good he doesn't have a playstyle plus probably is an 84 rated but that card looks good now two more players to look at here actually a few more than that McAllister uh minus one pace again the pace thing confusing here guys because McAllister was 82 he gets a plus four to an 86 they give him ping to pass plus and he goes down one pace really really confusing like this card even if it had 77 pace or 75 pace as he should would be awesome but he has 69 pace which is really really a problem so we hope that there's more upgrades coming to that as well and then Kuti Romero um you know what he never looks really usable as a gold card it always takes a couple of informs and it takes a couple of specials for him to look that good I think 68 pace is, as a Spurs fan is a little bit undue but there is a Premier League center back, however, that is stealing all the headlines, and it is this man right here, 87 rated Saliba. Going from an 83 overall to an 87, didn't get that big of a stat boost. Kind of a Rudiger situation here as well, but he gets Anticipate Plus on this card. He is going to be a force to be reckoned with in FC25, just because we know how OP Saliba is. VVD is going to be OP. Saliba is going to be OP. Those two guys together are going to be absolutely unstoppable. So if you're lucky enough to pack one of them early game, they're going to be A, a lot of coins, and B, really OP for sure. A couple other 87s that didn't make it into the top list, but that we supposedly have leaked uh, stats for right now. We've got De Jong with Trivella Plus staying an 87 rated. we got Musiala going up from an 86 to an 87 with Tech Plus as well. Hopefully still with a five-star skills. That will be a really nice card. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sneak this name in here. Bastoni. 75 pace. He came onto the scene at Inter last year. Really had some good cards in FC as well. He's with only 75 pace. A lot of people are going to overlook him. He's still going to be a really good center back in the game. Like, yeah, it doesn't have as much pace as Saliba, but he's got the same defense and physical with a little bit better passing and dribbling and intercept plus. So maybe for like half the price of Saliba or maybe even less than that, you get a Bastoni card. It's not going to be that bad. So guys, I know a lot of opinions, a lot of things to say about a lot of these ratings, a lot of these cards. We like them. We don't like them. Things you agree with, things you don't. Really curious to see what things happen in terms of the leaks after this. Are we going to get more player leaks in terms of official stats from EA? I do believe that we will, but it's probably going to be a couple of weeks from now. So let me know down in the comments who you like, who you don't like, what you think about some of the ratings. And uh, you know what? Last, let's end this video off with a few cards that we're missing. Benzema. We mentioned him, right? Casemiro. We haven't seen Casemiro's rating. That means he's probably an 87 or an 86. Bruno Fernandez. No sign of Bruno Fernandez. Is there anybody else that I'm missing, guys, that you are like, yo, this is a high-rated card from last year that I'm missing right now? Some of those guys must be 87, 86 rated, or even below with some big downgrades if they're not making it into the top 50, which is mostly 87s and above. So make sure to stick around to all the FC25 videos that we're going to have here in the channel because we're going to be covering all the news and information as it drops. And this is just the start. This is honestly early, early for ratings. So let me know down in the comments what you guys think, and I will catch you guys in a video tomorrow. If you want to see us more, drop down in the comments as well and see the Twitch link that's actually in the description. Check us out there on the streams. We'll be live today. Still ripping a bunch of packs on FC24 because you know we got to pack some 99s and got to get some objectives done to try to pack some of these new cards in FC25. But if you enjoyed today's vid, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions or comments. And of course, subscribe if you're new. See you guys on Twitch stream today. It's been Nate Foot Account. See you guys there. Peace out.